Okay, son, I know you're one of the best, but standing orders are I run over the basics with every new sniper they send out here. First thing, observe your surroundings for danger before you move. And try to move only from cover to cover. Getting caught in the open is a certain way to die. Check your surroundings carefully. Watch those rooftops and upper windows. Don't forget, the enemy has snipers out here too. When you move, keep low and move slowly. As you move, remember to watch the firing angles on any cover. The enemy could be dug in behind. If you move with caution and stealth, you will succeed in locating the enemy before they become aware of you. Always try to engage the enemy at a range where your sniper rifle gives you the advantage. Your uniform will provide camouflage in appropriate situations. The meter indicates how well concealed you are. But beware, this is just an indication, not a guarantee. Stealth, cunning, and your extreme skill will be key. Stay low, use cover, use your binoculars and scope, and plan your moves. Try to keep the enemy unsure of your position. If you let them work out where you are, they will close in and kill you. Remember, always try to engage the enemy at long range, so your sniper rifle gives you the advantage. Only eliminate the hostiles that pose a direct threat to you or your mission. Don't charge in or try to kill every enemy on the battlefield like a rookie. It will only get you killed. The most direct and obvious route to your objective is not always the best. Look at your map for alternative routes and intel. Flank or avoid enemies when you can. Remember, many lives have been risked to get you this information, so use it. You need to think, move, and kill like a sniper to survive. One shot. One kill. My father was a U.S. diplomat, stationed in Berlin. I spent most of my youth there. It was a beautiful city. I'd spent four years training at West Point before America joined the war. Now I was back in Berlin, recruited by the OSS because of my knowledge of the city and the language. The Russians' final onslaught had begun at dawn. It was only a matter of days before they would take Berlin completely. I was a sniper. One of an elite unit. Disguised as Germans, we each worked alone, assigned to the most difficult tasks, deep behind enemy lines. But strangely on this mission, the Germans were not my target. What was left of Hitler's military was rapidly falling to the overwhelming forces of our Russian allies. No, I was here because the OSS had learned the Soviet secret service. The NKVD had mounted a top secret operation aimed at obtaining Germany's atom bomb. If they gained the A-bomb, Stalin would use it to dominate Europe. This was an immense threat to the global balance of power, potentially even a greater threat than the Nazis. So I was here to assist the OSS's efforts to prevent the Soviets succeeding. With World War II not even over yet, I was now one of the first soldiers of a new war. The Cold War. With Berlin's fall and Hitler's suicide, World War II was over and the nightmare of a thousand-year Reich was gone. 
My work for the OSS had prevented the Soviets gaining the atom bomb for now at least. They would remain friendly to the Allied powers. So effectively the Cold War was over. But somehow I knew that this was not the end. We have chosen you for this mission because you are the best of the best, the elite. You will be dropped behind enemy lines into central Berlin disguised as a German trooper to allow easier passage throughout the city. This is not a situation for a regular soldier. Expect all your skill as a sniper and training as an OSS agent to be needed. Stealth, cunning, and your extreme skill will be key. But your close combat skills with your silenced pistol and tripwire grenade are likely to be called for too. Some situations will require you to work with a partner who will act as your spotter or vice versa. and reputation as the Sniper Elite will be tested to the full. The global balance of power will depend on your skill.